What's up guys? So I picked this uh, RC10 A stamp gold pan, vintage RC up on eBay. Um, another project I'm doing, I love RC10s. They're my absolute favorite RC. This, between that and the Hornet, to my Hornet. Um, so this is uh, an A stamp uh, RC10. It's in pretty rough shape, uh, very dirty, pretty beat up. It's got the championship edition body on it. I guess the people painted it that way, but it's not the championship edition. Um, a little comparison of the uh, one of my other RC10s. It's like a lighter gold color, and this new one I just got has more of an orangish, darker gold color. I believe that indicates that it's from the Cadillac uh, location and the other one is the Edinger um, with a lighter gold color. Not a bad looking uh, little buggy. Uh, definitely, definitely needs some TLC. Um, it did come with a AM uh, transmitter, old AM style transmitter with a long antenna. Um, and if you take the body off and look at all this junk inside, <laughs> it's just filled with all kinds of garbage. An old ESC FM receiver with the long antenna. Um, the shocks have no oil in them. They're pretty, they just need uh, rebuilt probably. Uh, but overall, it's in pretty good shape. It just needs cleaned. The rear shocks don't have no oil in them either. Um, it does come with a stock 27 turn motor, the, the Reedy. Uh, and that one does say uh, Cadillac Avenue on it. Um, old junky Futaba electronic speed controller. The servo, the steering servo is just double-sided taped down for some reason. Um, the gears feel pretty smooth on it, actually. The gears smooth, the, the, the differential is working good on it, so that's not an issue. And like I said, the A-stamp's showing through the bottom here, but later on I found out it is a, a normal A-stamp. The wheels are absolutely horrible. Look at look at that. They're like warped and out of out sh like not in shape. They need like melted or something back in shape. The rear tires ain't too bad. Uh, I'm not sure. They do say Proline on them. Uh, I'm not sure what they are. But anyway, let's tear into it and see what we can do. Clean it up.
All right, guys, we got her cleaned up pretty darn nice, and I'm pretty impressed with how it came out, actually. Everything cleaned up really well. Uh, much better than what I expected. Uh, the shocks, I did put some oil in the shocks, and they're pretty smooth now. Uh, all the whites came pretty clean. Not perfect, but good enough for me. The chassis, I had to do a lot of scrubbing to get all that old uh, double-sided tape out and just a lot of gunk in there. But that came out absolutely amazing. Uh, overall, I'm pretty impressed with how everything came out and, and, and looks. So stay tuned for the next uh, video because we're going to get some, uh, get it back together, get it cleaned up, get it back together, and put a brushless system in it. And what I want to do is I want to make this the uh, Jam and Jay Halsey uh, model with the blue and the, I don't think it was like a goldish mustard looking color in red. Um, that body with the black wheels in the front and the white wheels in the rear. That's that's my plans for this. Um, put a brushless system in it uh, and combine it to my uh, DX5 rugged uh, transmitter. Uh, it's just gonna be a fun project. So stay tuned for the next video, guys. And until next time, the RC Element out. <laughs>